This is a ice pocket or ice bag for a, a Pyrex dish. It's like an ice chest. I'm going to use it as an alternative to an ice chest today. I put an extra ice packet in it and then it comes with its own ice packet which is in this pocket up here. <clears throat> now I'm going out for a while. It's noon and I'm going to be out for about six to seven, eight, eight hours probably closer to eight hours. I'm going to be doing a lot of sockele fishing today, jigging for crappie that is. And I want to bring home a fish or two. I don't expect to uh, to catch a lot of fish today. Where I'm going I typically get a few and I think with the space that is left in here I can put at least four or more fish in here if I get that. So this is a, a good idea, I think, if you're riding a bike like I am to go fishing. You don't want to bring a big ice chest. You want something small, lightweight, portable. And if you're only going to bring home a, a few fish, then this makes sense to me. So what we're going to do today is we're going to test this. It is a colder day. I think this will work well. <clears throat> it's only going to get maybe 57 degrees today. It was 32 when I woke up this morning, so I think this will will still be frozen. These ice packs by the uh, the end of the session, and I think it'll keep the fish. And I believe this is waterproof, but you cannot wash this. And I believe with most products like this, you can't wash this in the washing machine. You have to hand wash it, and you can't put it in the dryer on on low tumble. Now, I didn't buy this, if you're wondering. This was given to me by my best mate's wife. She didn't uh, need it anymore. I think she broke the dish, so this was useless to her. Well, let's get out there and see how this works. All right, I've been fishing for about four hours now. Ah! This is easier when you have two hands frozen solid still and so is the smaller pack I think for a, a colder day like today only got up to about 57 I think this is the way to go a couple ice packs I'm only gonna keep maybe four fish at the most there's plenty of room in there for four crappie I'm satisfied I just <clears throat> need to put some fish in it and see how that works out let's go see if I can find some fish I've been here at Spanish Fork for the past four hours and have not had a bite. So I'm going to go see if I can get at least a bite. I love these handles on this. And look, fits right in the basket. Nice and tidy. Alright, I'm going to load up and I'm going to go into City Park. Well, it's late. I'm kind of cold. It's time to go. And the ice packs, the freezer packs, are still frozen solid. So is the one that comes with it. Well, I'm impressed with that. It's a shame I didn't catch a sockele to put in there for you. I did catch some yellow bass. They were too small to put in there. I wouldn't really want to put them in there anyway. They taste like cat food. Ah, uh, they're okay. But anyway, I'm impressed with that. I think I'll get a fair amount of use out of it during sockele season, but I would never suggest that you put just ice cubes in there because I'm not sure if that's waterproof. I would go with a freezer pack like this, or my other suggestion would be put in your freezer some uh, bottles of water and freeze them as long as they don't burst and put them in there. That way when the ice melts, nothing gets wet in here. I think that'll serve me well because I never, uh, out here on Bio St. John and City Park, I never catch tons of soccer. Just 
a few. It's not that great. But, they're sakale, my favorite. Alright, I gotta go home. See you next time.